It's Chris Burroughs. Good morning. Good morning, Henry. Uh, would you like to be like Brian Gosling, maybe, and Stone? Uh, they sat right here at this counter in La La Land. We're going to take you and enjoy some pupusas here at the Grand Central Market, ready to celebrate their 100th anniversary. This is fantastic. Stand by on five. We're getting closer. Could be the silver lining? Wow, boys. All right, downtown LA's iconic Grand Central Market is turning 100. Chris Burroughs live at the market, catching up with some of the vendors to learn more about their big birthday bash. Good morning, Chris. That's right. Good morning. Good morning. And this is Joe. He's our viewer that won the opportunity to be here. Thanks for Good being morning. here. No this problem. Morning. No problem. Uh, a spot you've actually been before, right? It's my favorite spot. And when I found out I won and we were coming here, I was very excited. I love this here. So, uh, what are we cooking here this morning? This was uh, seen in the movie La La Land. Yeah, it was. It was a blessing to see she did. Uh, we're making pupusas. Great. So she starts out. Let's see the process from beginning to end here. There we go. We'll take the... How about we do the one with the pork and all... What's the most famous one? The other one, the pork, bean, and cheese. So what's she doing then? Pork inside, roll it up into the ball, so you get the extra masa flattening it out, getting a perfect pancake kind of enclosed quesadilla. You like seeing it back here, Joe? Oh, definitely, definitely. Quite exciting. Usually at lunch is really crowded, so it's great to get a You've never gotten it this fat on before. Definitely, right? this is great. This is exciting. So let's plate the finished ones up, and Joe and I, which one's that? This is the cheese? That's yours, okay? Put the cabbage on it. All right. We'll head out here. When you get your cabbage, come on out here, Joe. Meet me and we'll give it a try. I want to show you some pictures of this place from a long, long time ago. We're talking black and white. That's what pictures used to look like here. Adele's the owner of the spot. Hundred years, huh? Hundred years. We're so excited to celebrate with everyone. We're going to have a big birthday party on the 27th. We want everyone to come out. It starts at 9.30 in the morning. Everyone gets a slice of cake. Oh, we love That's always a good party. Uh, you saw the video of what it used to look like, and now here's what it looks like. We'll show you the video. Uh, oh, Joe's putting that down. Looks fantastic. I mean, it is food stall after food stall. Fantastic stuff. And where else? It's really like the world's best buffet, I would say, with all these wonderful restaurateurs. Uh, which one's mine there? This one's mine. Okay. And Joe, here, you take this one. There you go. And oh, you're a fork and knife fan, or? Really? What's the what? What what should I do? Just I'm gonna tear. Okay. Okay. I want to hear how Joe likes it here. So let's get into that. Joe. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, I feel. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so so light and fluffy. That is so fresh. What do you think? Mm. Oh, it's great as always. I love this place. We're going to check out the next spot here. Join them for the 100th anniversary. You're going to love it. I get my I don't mind getting my hands dirty on your pupusas. This is, well, that actually didn't sound very appropriate when I said that, but I don't really care. This is great stuff. I'm busy, guys. Back to you. Oh, my gosh. That's Kevin. He wrote a love letter about this place. What's she working on right there, Don? Uh, this is our panda shop. Uh, we serve it with our breakfast, mm. as well as our uh, breakfast sandwich. The uh, place is sorry, sorry, you sorry, won't be sorry. When you find out what they're serving here, stand by on five. Downtown LA's iconic Grand Central Market turning on. It's true, Chris Burroughs live at the market. Uh, catch up with some of the restaurant tours there. Hi, Greg. Yes. Hi, this is true. A wonderful Filipino spot here. Dawn, what are we making? Let's go for it. We have here our adobo rice bowl. We 
It is very typical Filipino. What are you putting on this? It is uh, fried garlic on top. Ooh. It is uh, pieces of pork in there with some soy sauce, a lot of vinegar, a fried egg on top. We garnish with some scallions and uh, pickled chilies. I love the color of that. That looks fantastic. Ready to roll? Okay, let me bring it on over to Joe here. Joe's our KTLA viewer, watches seven days a week, and he won the chance to come here and try some of these delicacies. Joe, you want to give that a try there with the fork? This is, hey, Don, come over here and tell me about this pie that we're going to have a slice of. What is this here? This is our coconut pie uh, in the Philippines. This would be sold in abundance all over the in the streets, I mean, everywhere. Joe, how is that bowl? Oh, it's incredible. The flavors are popping off. It's savory? What are you getting on there? It's definitely savory. You get the peppers, which gives it a pop of flavor. But the egg is great, and the rice is it's that perfect. How about this? Oh. You know, that's like a hug for your mouth. That is really wonderful, that coconut pie. Adele, uh, this place, as we look at the older pictures, started as kind of something else. Yes, it was basically a supermarket, a huge supermarket for the people who were living downtown on Grand Avenue. And now, how many of these wonderful food vendors do you have here? Now we have almost 40 vendors, but it, the focus has changed a little bit. It's more about prepared foods and not so much about vegetables and uh, breads and supermarket kind of foods. 100 years. They're celebrating 100 years coming up on the 27th. Everyone gets a free slice of cake. It's on this, this, this coconut pie. I'm sending this back to you guys. This is, that is super. It's not ridiculously sweet. It's like natural, but it's pie. So I can feel, you know, good about eating pie. Hmm. God, that is fantastic. I love the crust on this thing. It's got a great crust on the bottom. Now, Chris, you're making it back to you guys. You need your own cooking mm. show. It's not even about the cooking. It's about describing what it is you're tasting. Right, exactly. And nobody does it better. Than Chris Bureau. No, no. Chris I don't Burrow care about the Giotto. cooking. Exactly. I, I could see a food show network. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. Chris, there's a lot of. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Oh, he he oh, gives yeah. a lot yeah. of adjectives oh, yeah. that you wouldn't necessarily think of. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Yeah, ooh. It's <laughs> like a hug for my mouth. Yeah. Tickle <laughs> taste buds. He's great at it. It's an explosion of flavor. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a party, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> He's great at it. He's it done a lot of work fight. And yeah. he's smart, too, because you know what? He hasn't paid for a meal in this town since 2007. <laughs> John Steele, happy 